All right, we are live. We're live. Welcome. Let me check. Yes, we're alive. <laughs> alive and well. Back on a Tuesday. Back on a Tuesday. The last one was a Thursday, so now we're back on schedule. Yes, and yeah. we were lucky today. Yes, because of no load shedding. Exactly. We were supposed to have load shedding, and there's no load shedding. And so. for those who don't know what load shedding is, it's when there's power outages in South Africa, scheduled power cuts. Yes. It's wild, and yeah. everybody's used to it. Yeah, and everyone <laughs> feels that it's totally normal. Yeah, two and a half hours, yeah. no a couple times a day, more. sometimes more, Six no electricity. Hours. So right now there was supposed to be no electricity, and we have electricity. Because we are Jewish. Yes, God that must us. be it. They're the chosen people. Exactly. Yeah. And yes. <laughs> Speaking of Jewish, the topic for today is <laughs> why don't you have money? <laughs> or in other words, why are you not Jewish? <laughs> yes, exactly. And... Um, <laughs> This is a, an interesting topic because everybody feels like, well, I, maybe I do have money. Why, why do you say that I don't have money? Or they say, yeah, I really don't have money. It's actually a good point. So mm -hmm. some people agree, some disagree. But the thing that I think you mean when you say, why don't you have money is A, why don't you have money? And B, why is it not anywhere near what you should have? Why are you not in an abundance of yeah. money? And what do I actually mean is why your potential is much, much higher than your results. Yeah. So if I take any person and you will look at your potential, you'll see that your potential for success, for having money, is much bigger than the results. And the question is, why? Yeah. That do not make sense. Yes. Yeah, 100%. And what, I mean, many public speakers say, your potential is huge, but your results are not there. So what do you mean by that? What does that mean? What's, everyone says that. It's easy to say that. Yeah. Okay. So the spirit knows. Mm -hmm. Now, when you know something, you will demonstrate control. Yeah. And control equals income. Yes. Very simple, yes? Yeah. Now, if you don't demonstrate control, if you don't have income, it only means that you're not actually using your potential but so there's no such handbrakes on the spirit that say oh i'm not using my potential it's not the potential is there you never lose your potential what you lose is your willingness to demonstrate it there are something that called mental blocks that block you from actually demonstrating how perfect you are yes yeah okay and people feel like okay yeah i understand over time i get mental blocks so how, what's... So how yeah, yeah, it? yeah. Okay. So actually, so if we're diving right in. Right in, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there are two reasons why you don't have money. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll talk about one of them today. Yeah. Okay. So most people say that they don't market because they don't have money. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, if you don't have money, you don't market. Yeah, yeah. And this is so tricky because people say, no, but I do market. I'm on TikTok or I'm on Instagram. That's not marketing. Mm -hmm. That's not marketing. Yeah. That's really not marketing. People have marketing stupidities. And because of those marketing stupidities, they don't have money. Mm -hmm. It's quite amazing. Yeah, yeah. And the reason they have those marketing stupidities is mental blocks. Mm -hmm. So just before we get in, so that when you say a mental block, people can say, yeah, you know, my part of my mental block is because when I was young, you know, my dad told me that uh, I won't amount to anything. Or is that what you mean by a mental block? Or what makes a mental block more than the obvious thing that a person thinks it is for them? Okay, so the first thing to know if you think that your problem is A and the problem is not being solved, that's not your problem. Mm -hmm. So if I say, oh, it's because my dad told me I amount to nothing, it's not why. It's not, because if yeah. you knew that this is the reason, you could do something about it and you do something about it. Yeah, yeah. But you will see that usually what they say, they said for 35 years about when the dad died 20 years ago mm -hmm. and they're still saying that it is. Yeah. And the situation gets worse. Right. So it's not the reason. It's mm -hmm. just an excuse. 
Yeah, which they hold on to yeah. for dear life. Yes, because mm. if not, what would they say that they actually don't know? They never learn. They, mm -hmm. God forbid, they say yes, that. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing to know, the first mistake uh, in um, the first marketing stupidity mm -hmm. is misunderstanding the word communication. Mm -hmm. So there's two things about communication. The first thing to understand about communication is that where you are in communication, in com, mm -hmm. what you get is income. Mm -hmm. It's like really it. amazing. Yeah. Every time you are in com, in communication, you get income. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yes. And uh, this, this concept of being in com is totally misunderstood. Sending a picture is not in common. Mm -hmm. It's better than nothing, yes? Right, it's something. It's something. I'm not against it. Yeah. But it's not in common. Mm -hmm. What you need, you need to understand that what you market is not your product. Interesting. Okay. For example, if I ask anyone right now to go and get me $10, just you have three minutes to go and get $10 from someone. Mm -hmm. Probably you'll be able to get $10, yes? Yeah. So 99% of the people or 90% of the people will be able to go and get $10. Yeah. Or 10 rand or mm -hmm. 10 shekels, yes? Yeah. It's a small amount of money. You can get the, the money, yes? Yes. Now, did you notice that uh, you didn't sell anything? You didn't have any product? Yeah. <laughs> you just got some money. You got the money. Yeah. Because people pay you for your communication. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm. People so, yeah. pay you for the communication. And what's the communication? The communication is a promise for something. Now, most of the people say, well, okay, so I'm selling cigars. So I'm telling you this cigars is this length, this thickness, this is the flavor. I won't buy it. Mm -hmm. okay. Why? Because you never sell the product. What you sell is the benefits of the product. Why do I buy cigars? Because it looks, because it looks cool. Mm -hmm. I want to look cool. So why do I buy an expensive cigar? I'm saying that it's the taste and da, da, da. No. But there is this thing that people know that that specific cigar, the Cuban cigars, are more expensive and it put me in a higher social strata. Something. Right. There right. is yeah. something that has nothing to do with the product that I'm selling. And this is the benefit. And the first thing that happened, people don't know how to extract the benefit. Yes. What's in it for me? Why will this guy buy it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the first mistake that people do. Yeah. Yeah. And before you actually can take your product and transform it into benefits, and there's a specific way to do it, mm -hmm. you you would just waste your time. Yeah. You will say, oh, I'm selling dancing. Okay. And I'm the best dance teacher. Okay. And you will learn how to dance. Okay. No one will come. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But <laughs> if your market is a market of uh, guys and girls that are looking for a husband, and you say, well, you know, the best way to get a husband is on the dance floor. It's mm -hmm. also the best way to get rid of a husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> so it's a dumb yeah it works <laughs> it's both ways work. yeah well, no matter your situation we've got you covered <laughs> we got you covered. Yeah. Yes. but yeah. if you sell the benefit mm -hmm. why do you go to dance you don't go to dance because just because you want to move your body that's nonsense right there is some benefits that you need to discover and there's a specific way to discover those benefits. And only then will you be able to actually sell dancing or cigars or dentistry or, or anything. Yeah. Okay. Or yourself. Right. Also. Yeah. hundred percent. Why this lady looks at me? What is she looking for? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you think, well, because I'm good looking. There are many good looking guys. Yeah. She's probably 
not looking for you as a good looking guy. She looks for something totally different. And if you will discover what's that? Now, yeah. you know, this uh, guy that went to uh, the gym and he really wants to impress the ladies. So he come to the receptionist and ask the receptionist, which machine that if I use it, if I be good at it, most of the ladies. She said, oh, that's easy. There's nothing outside. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I love it. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> so you need to yeah. find what is she looking for. Right, right. Okay, so this yeah. is number one, the benefits. Okay. Okay. So there are marketing stupidities that if you know, don't know them, you're not marketing. Mm -hmm. You're doing the actions that you think that are marketing, but you're not marketing. Right. The second marketing stupidity is to believe that marketing needs to cost money. Mm -hmm. That's a lie that marketing companies sold you in order to get from you a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Actually, I am delivering a, a seminar now that's called 171 Ways to freely market your business for prosperity or something like that. Let yeah, exactly. See how it's called. The yeah, I think it's 171 70. free ways to free, market free your way. business for prosperity. Okay, good. It's at least one of us. Something like that, yeah. Yes. Um, uh, okay, wait. hold on, hold on. Here we go. Uh, 171. Here yeah, we go. we'll put Let's it up see. on the screen. Yeah, 171 free, free ways to market your business. Now for, prosperity. for prosperity. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So and by the way, if you don't see the screen right now, if you're listening to this as a recording later, you can find out more about that at gprosperity.com forward slash 171 ways. Okay. Okay. So, so it doesn't cost money. Mm -hmm. It costs money only for those people that don't know. Yeah. It really doesn't cost money to promote. Mm -hmm. And people say, yes, but Facebook will not promote you and Instagram will block you and God will not be with you. Believe me, God will be with you if you will do the right actions. Yeah. If yeah. you do the right actions, you will succeed. Mm -hmm. So you need to learn. People don't learn. People, um, people learn how to be a dentist. People learn how to be a dancer or a dance teacher or a guitar teacher. Or, or a builder or a lawyer. Yeah. But that's just 14% of what it's all about. Let, let, yeah. let me draw something here. Let me draw something here. Uh, I think iPad is number five. I, I'm just going, no, it's not number five. It is number uh, six, seven. Which one is it? Uh, eight. Yes. There okay. We Here we go. The last <laughs> one. <laughs> the last of the eight options. Okay. So let me show you something. If this is your business, okay, your business is composed of seven parts. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. One part is your technical ability. It's actually 14% of your whole business. Now, if you will be the worst than teacher, but you'll be good in all of this 86%, you'll be more successful than the best dance teacher in the universe. Right. If you will be good, if you will be the worst dentist, but you'll be extremely good in all those other areas or in some of those areas, mm -hmm. you will be successful. Yeah. And that's why they say that some the best products are not always the one that wins. Yeah. And most of the time, it's actually some of the worst products that somehow are... McDonald's. Yeah, exactly. There we go. The biggest restaurant in the universe. Yeah. How is the product? Not great. Not great. I would rather go to a nice... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, you look at uh, Apple, okay? Apple has generally good products, but they're not the best. Mm -hmm. But people love them. Yeah. It's funny because everybody knows that Samsung's features that now Apple promotes as their new innovation. Samsung users are like, yeah, but we've had that for like two or three years already. Yeah, it's like, where are you? Yeah. In the Stone Age. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. So, so you need to learn how to market. Mm -hmm. OK, so this is the second thing. If you don't learn how to market, you will not be successful. 
you have to learn how to market. And the problem is, the stupidity is that people think that it's cost money. It doesn't. 171 ways. Yeah, free ways. Yes. Yeah, 171 free ways to market your business and people don't do that. Yeah. The next stupidity is that people tell me, okay, fine, I'm convinced. I'm mm -hmm. convinced we need it. Yeah, I'm going to start on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the most important thing. I'm going to start on Thursday and I'll do it once per week. Yeah. Do you eat once per week? No. Do you sleep once per week? No, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so why would you market once per week? It's something right. that you have to do all the time, continuously. And here is the secret. Anyone and everyone around you must promote, must market with you. Yeah. Your suppliers are your promoters. Your clients are your promoters. Everyone that works for you is your promoter. Your car is your promoter. Your, fo your phone is your promoter. Everything is your promoter. You need to learn how to use them. Yes, that's a good point. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. The next stupidity is that they say, well, you don't matter, but I'm not a marketer. Mm -hmm. I'm an artist. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> or I'm a dentist. Yeah. Or I'm a doctor. Mm -hmm. Fine. You'll not stay a dentist for a long time. You'll be a bankrupt dentist. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 100%. You'll be a starving artist. Yes. It's very difficult to create art when you're starving. Right. So it's nonsense. If you are not going to learn how to become a marketer, you will not be part of this game. Yeah. You'll be kicked out of the game and you won't do what you actually like to do. That, that one part in the drawing that you're so technically good at that you love doing, you love being a painter, you won't be able to do it. Yeah. And the key is that most of the people uh, draw to do what's easy for them and they're good to painters, so they will do painting all day long. Mm -hmm. They're good guitar players, so they will play all day long guitar, but they will not do all the other parts. Right. 86% they will not do. And that's what, it, and then you need to contribute to yourself. You need to invest in yourself to learn those things. But I find that most people don't see a reason to, even though they practice yeah. six hours a day or they do their work 10 hours a day, but they don't dedicate one hour a week for, for learning all the other parts. Yeah, or for marketing, even stupidly marketing, but market at least two yeah. hours per day, yeah. at least. Right. Yes. The next thing that they, and the next stupidity is, and I'm giving you only part, yes. The next stupidity is that they say, well, but I'm not good in marketing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I want to, but I'm not good. I want to ask you, when you born, how good were you at running? Not great. <laughs> yeah. How good were you at uh, eating? Not great. How good were you when you were two years old at painting? Not great. You learn. You learn. Yeah. You need to learn. Yeah. And, and th that's lead immediately to the next stupidity where people are telling me, okay, fine, so I will hire someone. Mm -hmm. If you hire someone that's good, it will cost you a lot of money. And because you don't know what's right, unintentionally, you will stop him. Mm, yeah. It's quite amazing. He will come to you and he will tell you, you know, this is what you need to do. And you will say, well, you know, I don't know. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. You need to learn anything, not only marketing, anything you do in your business. First, you need to be an amazing, amazingly good at that. Or otherwise, this business will never take off. Mm -hmm. if, you had been, if you've been an owner of any business that you are not expert in each and every part of that business, this business never succeeded. Yes. Yeah. It's quite amazing. So how does somebody do that? If somebody is starting a business and they find themselves <clears throat> not strong in that area, because I actually see a lot of gurus saying, hire people smarter than you. And so people take that on, right? Yeah. And then they kind of also wonder how to hire someone smarter than them yeah. and how to even know if they are smarter to begin with or if they're just saying nice things. Yeah. And the smart do not mean successful. I've seen mm -hmm. very smart people that cannot work. Mm -hmm. I've seen yeah. amazingly smart people that have unbelievable ideas, but are starving. Yeah. So just saying hire someone smarter than you, it's stupid. Yeah, it is. Because it's got nothing to do with smartness. It's got to do with the ability to bring results despite all opposition. Mm -hmm. For that, smartness 
is 1%. Yeah, cleverness is 1%. The ability to, to do the technical side or the marketing side or the sales side, or all of these things that you, the guy is good at is 7%. Mm -hmm. And the rest is all the rest that he needs to know. Yeah. The ability to make it go right. Yes. Yes. So, so what you really need to understand is that you need to learn how to market. Mm -hmm. And how do you do it as a businessman? You take an area and there's a specific area by importance. Obviously, you need to learn the technical side. If you are you need to do that. Otherwise, you will not be allowed to practice. Right. But immediately after that, you need to learn how to sell. Yeah, mm -hmm. how to market, not how to, to sell, market. how to market, yeah. How to market, yes? Yes. You really immediately have to learn that. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you go to a certain level where marketing actually brings results, you have to learn the next area, in the next area, and the next area. And the good thing is that there is only seven areas that you need to know. One of them you already know, the technical side. Mm -hmm. So you've got only six areas to know. Yeah. It's relatively easy. It's not complex. Yeah, and it's also something that you actually teach people yeah. every single day. So yeah. it sounds, you know, where do I start or who's, who's going to teach me all that? But it's what you do. Yeah, so start with the marketing. 171 ways to market your business. That's number one. You have to do that. Yeah, and I think the important reason as to why start with marketing, why not start with learning, I don't know, people want to learn about some other form of administration or to be organized or whatever. But... You, need, you have something, and the first thing that you need to do is to actually get people to buy it. Yeah, and, and people said, so I need to learn sales. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Now, the word marketing means this technology that causes people to want something and buy. Yeah. If marketing do not sell, it's not marketing. Mm -hmm. It's nonsense. Uh, for example, uh, Apple is a very good marketing company. And when they have a new iPhone, they don't sell it. People mm -hmm. go to buy it because the marketing is good. Yeah, people walk into the store sold already. Yeah. Because they saw the marketing. Exactly. So when you need salespeople, is because the marketing sucks. Yeah, 100%. Otherwise, what salespeople do is just upsell you. Mm -hmm. You decided you want the iPhone, but they will upsell you on the insurance and they will upsell you on the AirPods, cover the and cover, AirPods yeah. and uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's what salespeople do. Marketing, create want and sell something. Mm -hmm. And this is something that the uh, marketing companies don't like me saying that. They actually hate me and I have a lot of argument with all kinds of owners of marketing company and they say, why do you say that? What they mean, it's why do you say that it's not good for my business? Yeah. And as I said, because it's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazon has been marketed so good, mm -hmm. so they sell. Yeah. Yes? They don't have salespeople to go to you and sell you Amazon. Right. It's right. not salespeople. This is only marketing. Yeah, exactly. Yes? Yeah. Um, uh, when you go to McDonald's, there's no salesperson there. Yeah, just someone to take the money. Because marketing is, the marketing is so good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's not that you don't need salespeople. You do need salespeople. Yeah. But if your marketing is good, sales is just upselling. Yeah. It makes it a breeze for salespeople. Yeah. It's like nothing. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Let's have a look at the comments. Yes. So from the beginning here, we have Punam who said, hello, yeah, Mayor, hi, sir. Hi, hi. And hello, brother Gal. Hi, Punam. And uh, Barbara Marshall. Hi, hi. And uh, wow, Barbara, Long, yeah, yeah, nice to see you. Yes, and uh, Punam said, Always love to attend the unbelievable live stream with you, my great mayor and brother Gal. Thank, thank you, you thank, thank you, you, thank you. And Yannick, hello, wow, Hi, Yannick, hello, yes, and wow, the benefits makes a lot of sense, yeah, exactly. yeah, it's so yeah. important to highlight the benefits, yeah, it's really, and it is a specific way to, to take the product and to turn it into a benefit. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really a different method. Yeah. And, uh, and if you are not, if you are not, uh, uh, if you don't understand the concepts of how do you actually market, 
it the biggest thing it will be like it will seem that you market but you don't you know i'll tell you a story um so you know we had uh, we were selling this uh, a product the uh, film master yeah and then um, the company that was responsible for marketing it was uh, bp mm -hmm. and big company and big marketing uh, department and expert in marketing and unbelievable marketing and blah 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 mm -hmm. but there was no results no sales mm -hmm. so we went and we started to evaluate what are they doing and they've done all of these big ads and lots of money on ads and flyers and um, all kind of focus groups and all kind of a lot, a lot, a lot of actions, useless actions. Mm -hmm. Because they explain that there is this product and what the product is so good and this is the frequency that it works at and this is the, the, the how easy it's to install. And did it, but why do I need it? It was not there even in one sentence. Wow. Not one sentence throughout this, at that time, it was, I think, like 5 million rand advertising budget. Uh, so for, for now, it will be probably like 25 million rand advertising yeah, yeah, project. Yeah, like $2 million. Yeah. And they didn't say once, what's the benefit? Mm -hmm. Why do I need it? Wow. Once. In no, in no part of the advertising. Yeah, amazing. So many marketers that I speak to, even now, have never even had the glimpse of an idea that that's what they're actually supposed to be marketing. Yeah, the benefits. And wow. this is just one stu marketing stupidity. There's 171 free ways to market your business, and there's 171 stupid ways to destroy your marketing. Which everybody does. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. And the first one, the first one, the most important one is the idea that it is difficult to make money. Mm -hmm. The truth is that money is easy to make, even if you're not Jewish. Wow. What's difficult is to get rid of the idea that it's difficult to make money. Mm -hmm. The moment that you'll get rid of that idea, you'll start making money you will be willing to start marketing. You will start promoting for real, not a second before. Because otherwise you think, oh, it's difficult, it's difficult, it's difficult, it's difficult. So it would be difficult. Yeah. So the first thing that we do in the 171 ways, it's a course that built from four parts. The four, first part, quarter of the course, is removing mental blocks. Wow. Quarter of the of the course, removing mental blocks. Amazing, unbelievable. That's and it's the amazing thing about that is that most people don't actually know how to even see their own mental blocks. As yeah. I said, it's something that they think that they know. Oh, it's because my dad. Da, da, da. So they have some excuse. So what you do is you crack open yeah. what the real actual, mental block is. Actual reason. The actual reason. Yeah. And how do we know that we found the actual reason? Results. Mm -hmm. Once you find the actual reasons, the results show up. Because this mental block, what does it block? It blocks the income. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It blocks your success. Amazing. It really does. Yeah. Yeah. It blocks your income. And by the time that you realize that you had that mental block, it's too late. You are either too old or you lost the business. It's generally too late. Right. Right, exactly. That's amazing. It's amazing. And what else is a really great thing that you can do now is go to gprosperity.com forward slash 171 ways and see there a recording that's totally free uh, that's yes. up there yeah. of uh, introduction to this full course, which is just available for you to watch free of charge. Yeah. And it's that's amazing too. So you yeah. can go it will check help that you. out. It will help you with your marketing immediately just yeah. by watching this uh, free video. Yeah, it's a real kick in the butt on your marketing immediately it's... from watching it. You're going to go, oh my oh gosh, my I just realized why I need to stay up tonight and do something. <laughs> why me? <laughs> yeah, why me? I wanted to sleep tonight, but now I can't. I got to do this. Yeah, it's really, really good. So that's on gprosperity.com forward slash 171 ways. 
Awesome. Okay. Also, we have Gerard here, or Gerard, if you were in the US, yeah. that said, hey, guys, so hi, hi. Hi. And thank you for everyone that tuned in. Is yeah. there anything that you want to kind of give as a final word? As a final word. On okay. why people don't have money. What is that final thing that they need to do? There's two things, as we said. The first one is they are not, they don't know how to market. They're not yeah. willing how to market. And the second part, the second part is so basics that when I tell it to anyone, they said, no, no, cannot be. It's nothing to do with, it, it cannot be just not, that, that's not the reason. Because it's just too simple. They want something it's just, it's just to, to like it, it, everyone see it, but they don't see it. It's just mm. in front of you. And I said, okay, fine. But then I handled it for them. And all of a sudden they said, wow, but it's that, that's what stopped me. Mm. <laughs> and when they realized for themselves that that's what stopped them, everything changes. And all of a sudden become, well, no problem. Easy. Wow. Is that part of the 171 freeways? Yeah. Is that where it will be revealed? Not there. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. So that's how do you get that answer? Uh, this is uh, what I do. Uh, this is done on a one-on-one -on -one coaching mm -hmm. because I can tell. Actually, I've I've said that during this uh, recording. I've said yeah. what it is. No one will actually think that it is. You can hear it another twenty times, and you will not. You will not. You will not. Like, no, mm -hmm. you didn't say. It. I did say. It. It's mm -hmm. there in this specific uh, live stream. interview live yeah. stream. Yeah. But no one would catch it. Hmm. Amazing. So it's on a one on one basis. Yes. Okay. So get in touch with you. Exactly. Okay. Amazing. So there you go. That's you, how can I get in touch with you? Just email you, by the way? Yeah, you can email me. Okay. Write to us from our website. Yeah. Just uh, follow me on uh, Instagram and write to me. Yeah. My Instagram is uh, Mayor Ezra mm. Official. Exactly. Or you can just re watch this a few hundred times and just dissect it word by word and maybe they'll be you'll maybe you'll it. uncover it yeah exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> amazing amazing this was really good really powerful thank you thank yeah. you Gabi. thank you Abale. i love amazing you. love you Mwah. i love you bye everyone thank you very much for tuning thank in you. bye bye bye